Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. If that is something that interests you then why don't you subscribe? It's December, guys. My favorite month of the year. It's just, it's my season. It's my time. I have my Christmas jumper on and I am so ready for Christmas. Only two days from now, guys, I will be flying to Iceland to be with my family for the next three weeks. So, as you guys know, that means the uploads will not be as consistent, but only for three weeks. I will upload some, but not a lot. And then I'll be back in January stronger than ever, so not to worry. But today, guys, I'm just feeling festive. So I decided to watch a Christmas film that was suggested. Uh, it's a film that I have never heard of before. It's from 1987, and it's called A Hobo's Christmas. I don't know what to expect, but I am always up for trying new Christmas films. Oh. I just, I love this time, guys. I love this time of the year. And I hope you do as well. I hope you're having a swell time in December. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on, and let's go. Is your first Christmas away from home? Yeah, me and Carolina both. This Christmas counts 25 I've been away from home. You're up to something. The new shirt, the tie. That's my son. He's living in Salt Lake now. Oh, I should have figured it. How many years you talked about seeing him? Too many. That's why I'm here. What if this reunion don't work? I'm gonna be on the first train out of here tonight. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Morning. 75 cents for the shower, 50 cents for the towel. I said good morning. Soap will be 25. Dude, what is wrong with you? Show that man a little respect. You know, when I was your age, we had a saying. Courtesy pays big dividends and doesn't cost a penny. Yeah. I hate people who treat homeless people this way. I just, I hate it. My kids want me home this year. I will be. By 4.30, Christmas Day. What do you want? The correct greeting is, can I help you, sir? Not, what do you want? He's not bothering you, mister. I'm here to see my son. Bail is posted straight down the hallway to your left, my, past the Christmas tree. My son is a policeman. Officer Charles Grosvenor, Junior. 4.30. It's the best I could do. Well, I'm off at noon. What are you here from San Francisco? Well, they made the offer. And? And I'm thinking about it. If I do take the job, they want me to start right away. Oh. Call for you, Charlie. Hello. He said what? That he's your father. Yeah, an old guy. All right, thanks. I'll be right down. What happened? He's here. Oh, who's here? My father. Hello, son. You show up. You seem pissed about it. Why are you here? Because it's time. Where have you been for the last 25 years? Oh, okay. Okay. Now I get why he's mad at him. Okay. I learned your wife had died. Look, if it's money you want... No, I'm not here for money. I work for a living. I pay my way. I always have. I thought he was a hobo. I'm here because I want to spend Christmas with you. You haven't earned the right. I want to know the grandchildren I never met. I did not invite you here. Not many more Christmases left, Charlie. What are you giving Lori for Christmas? I'm still making up my mind. Did she get the job in San Francisco? Ah, uh, no, not yet. Dad, when are we getting the tree? Soon. How soon? A couple of days. Last year we had to wait until the day before Christmas. I thought he'd ask me to stay. So I thought I was going to get to meet your dad. I thought wrong. My father and I don't need to hurt each other all over again. Charlie, you said that was a long time ago. Which is exactly where it's going to stay. What gonna stay? Where? When? Why? How? What happened? I'm curious. And a little impatient. Well, don't you think Bobby and Kathy have a right to meet their own grandfather? Look, it's between my father and me, okay? No, it's not okay. Those kids upstairs have a right to meet their grandfather. Not if their grandfather is a pedo. Which I don't think he is, to be clear. But I'm just saying, there could be multiple reasons why he chose to leave. Well, I for one need some California sun. My bones ache here. No. You've been complaining about cold since I met you. Get to California, you complain about the heat. River gun, he spotted us. Come on. Come on, come on, hurry up. One day. I'll give you one day. Oh, I can't wait. 
I can't wait for snow. I'm going home in two days, guys. Two days. I'm gonna get my snow. I'm from freaking Iceland. I will have snow during Christmas. If not, I will ask for a refund. Can he stay more than one day? He's a traveling man. He never stays anywhere long. That's why he's a hobo. Exactly. A hobo has to be somewhere on Christmas. I gotta be going. You just tell Bobby and Kathy whatever it is you want to do. Come here. When do I get the tree? Ah, uh, tomorrow. First thing. I always made choosing the tree a very special time. When you were home. Well, today I am home. What's a hobo? A man who works as he travels. Am I misunderstanding the term hobo? I always thought that hobo was a homeless person. I need to rethink this. You're not here because you're sick or dying, are you? <laughs> no, Bobby. Why did you leave home? Growing up, there wasn't a thing in this world that I was afraid to take on. Came a time for change. There's too many changes for me. How much has your father told you about me? He never talks about you, but he keeps your postcards and your pictures down in the basement. Them, so there must be something there. There they are. Stay right there. Gonna wind up with the most expensive tree on the lot, Douglas fir. Douglas fir. That's right. Last year we uh, we had Scotch pine. Yeah, well, that's a good choice, but this year they're a little dry. Well, I have heard that the Douglas fir does give you more tree for the money. Last twice as long, too. Sold. Made a good choice, son. Ah, put that away. Come on, kids, lend a hand. No, 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 This is a hobo knife. See, this blade here is for carving and whittling, and that one there is a can opener. What, it's like a Swiss army knife? He's a very proud man. He wanted to buy that tree. I think he's really trying to get to know you, so you should give him equal time. The only reason he's here is for the kids. That can't be the only reason. The kids are not newborns. They've been around. So, why now? Are you all alone when you ride the rails? No, no, I have friends. Who? My best friend is Cincinnati Harold. What do you eat when you ride the rails? A hobo stew, what else? <laughs> What's hobo stew? Oh, well, now that's a secret. And this move to San Francisco could be the best thing for both of us. You made up your mind, huh? No, I haven't decided yet. You kids haven't told me what you want for Christmas yet. I want a dog, she wants a piano. Bobby! Ow. <laughs> but she hasn't told Dad. I haven't you told him? I was taking lessons. My mother died, so I stopped playing. I thought I'd wait until morning to tell them goodbye. You know damn well they want you to stay. You're the one I came to see. I'm waiting to hear it now. If I tell you to go, you know who the kids are going to blame. Me. I'm not talking about I'll the be kids. the fall guy. I'm talking about us. You came for Christmas, you stay for Christmas. But you just remember this, when it's time for you to leave, you're the one who's going to have to face your grandchildren. Maybe he doesn't leave. If you allow him to stay and he feels like he's won it, he'll stay. And that's it. And the corn, Kathy. There we are. And the onions, Bobby. My guy, I don't think this is sanitary. You have a kitchen, love. Five pounds of course. That's right. And it's a cabbage, 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 cabbage. What earth are they making? Stew? Yes, sir. Vitamin packs stick to your ribs. Hobo stew. Cooks for three hours. Keeps a man going for three days. You can only cook hobo stew outside in a garbage can. Rah! Hobo stew. Just plain... Vitamin packs stick to ribs. Hobo stew. I don't want them hurt when you leave. You think I want that? My father, the hobo, who ran away from the real world. You were always running. How do you know how I felt? Look, I didn't come down here to pick a fight, all right? Yeah. All those years I was traveling, this was my kind of place. Always on the road. Trains, mostly. <laughs> okay, so what I'm piecing together is that his dad is a natural-born salesman. He works, worked as a salesman when this dude was young. And then he just took it too far and went on a sales trip and never came back. 25 years ago, Hello? I remember the, the home office. Home office, Charlie, where all of us salesmen used to gather once a month. We were the road. Three years ago, I lost my job at the steel mill. Twenty-five years ago, you lost yours as a salesman. You ran away. I didn't. I was a hotel man in a motel world. I remember all those years I tried to come back, even if it was only for a week at a time. The trouble was, uh, each time I came back, it became more difficult. Why? 
In my day, it was the man who was the provider for the family. Came a hobo. I worked. I sent money home. Hey, I was just a kid. I was home. Do you think I wanted to put my arms around money? Don't you think that that hurt me, too? All I was trying to do is provide for you and your mother as best I could. Times changed. You were just too damn proud to change with them. Do you think I wrote, sent those postcards and pictures home because I was trying to leave you and your mother behind? I failed your mother, and I was failing you. At least he wrote. It wasn't like he just got sick of you guys. Why can't you and Daddy be friends? Because your father wasn't ready for me to move back into his life. But Daddy wants to love you. I know he does. Yeah, but wanting to and being able to are two different things, love. When are you leaving? Morning after Christmas, I'll be gone. Now that you know where we live, you'll come back every Christmas, won't you? I'd like that. I'd like that very much. Yeah, that's great. I mean, he probably has like three Christmases left, at least. There's this uh, tavern near the mill, a place where all the guys, we used to go and have a beer after work every day. One day I was looking at myself in the mirror behind that bar. I saw my father, and that scared me. <laughs> because right then, I wanted to run. Yeah, but you didn't. That was the past, Charlie. Yeah. And now I've got you in my life, and you make a difference, lady. Oh my goodness! Okay, if I went shopping and saw this, I would be coming home with three puppies. I would be just be like, yeah, you know what? People can buy their own gifts and just say they're from me. I'm buying myself three puppies. Spending all my money on that. Why don't you try it? Now we're going to do something special for your father. All right. Great. Just the three of us. When the light comes on, everyone says cheese. 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 Children, Bobby and Kathy Grover. Hi. These young ones here want you to spend Christmas with them. Count me out. Is he inviting a bunch of hobos to spend Christmas with them? I love that idea. But I'm not sure that his son does. We want to give you to our daddy as a Christmas present. We didn't know what to get him. So they decided to give him a hobo. A fully grown hobo who does not want to be there. Sort of like a hostage situation, but okay. Now, I want my son to have a big family around him at Christmas, and I guess you guys are going to have to be it. Yeah, I don't know. Christmas is the lonesomest time of the year. I never finish my shopping until Christmas Eve. Right to get the job right done. Merry Christmas, Dad. It's from all of us. Family portrait. Granddad, this is yours. It was mine. Now it's yours. That's a real hobo knife, Bobby. To Grandpa from Bobby, Kathy, and Santa Claus. <laughs> How did you know I always buy myself a pair of shoes at Christmas time, huh? It was Dad's idea. Chance needs our help for Christmas. It's important to him and the grandkids. Today, we do whatever our buddy Chance asks us to do. I'll be leaving here tomorrow. Yes, I heard. If Charlie asks you to marry him, Say yes. You're not only a sentimentalist, you're a romantic. So what's your role in this family? Where's your responsibility? Oh, it's too late for that. You know, these past few days I blamed Charlie for running away from you, but now I think you're the one who's really running. Maybe it's time to stop. Oh, please turn that off. So annoying. It's Dad! It's Daddy! I thought it might be nice to have a few friends over to dinner. I believe that he was tops on your list. Oh, he bought one. Just the one I wanted. I had to borrow a paddy wagon, but uh, I got it here. What is this, a uh, few friends over for dinner? Uh, Kathy and uh, Bobby thought that they would like to uh, share Christmas with someone who is less fortunate than they are. I see. What, are you going to be a Grinch about it? Do you always live in Utah, Gladys? Born and raised here. If you took the time, I'd be pleased to show you the state. We never stay anywhere more than a few days. Why, hmm? Charlie, this is the gift I had in mind to give you over 25 years ago. I'm sure you're not too old to enjoy it. Oh, Charlie. Uh -oh. And he made that? I'm not going to cry. 
what, Chance? When I was young, I remember a lot of families used to go down to the airport and watch the planes. But in my family, we always went to the train station. And if there's one memory that stands out in my mind, it's uh, being lifted up onto my father's shoulder to watch a long, long freight pass by. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for remembering. We'll sit down and sing some Christmas carols. Uh -huh. Poor Harold, this is just torture for him. She hasn't wanted to play since her mother was teaching her. I love you. I need you. I'll stay, Charlie. Stay. I'm not taking the job in San Francisco. Merry Christmas, Charlie. Merry Christmas. Well, he's not actually leaving. I didn't want to wake them. I'd figures. That's the way it always was. I'd go to bed, and when I woke up, you'd be gone. I didn't have the heart to wake you. Wish you had. Tonight is good night and goodbye. Leaving is still up to you. That part hasn't changed. was our goodbyes. We don't want to say goodbye. We want you to stay. I'm not used to staying in just one place. You're just beginning to know your grandchildren. Maybe I don't want to have kids around well, me all the time. Maybe they'll get tired of you. California chance, it's time. I want you to stay. You can't leave the kids. You said I ran. 25 years of pride that, that kept me from you. And I'm almost let it happen again, but not anymore. I love you, Dad. I love you, son. I'm staying. Let's go home. He's never going to see them again. Grosvenor and Grosvenor. Custom furniture. How's that sound to you, Kathy? I like it. Okay. Let's talk about it. Alright, that was me watching Hobo's Christmas. It was sweet. I mean, most of these cliche Christmas films are... The person who suggested this film to me said it was not a very well-known Christmas film. But it was a film that sort of stayed with you if you if you watched it. And I think, I think it will. I mean, yeah, it was cliche, but it was still heartwarming. And it reminds us that there is nothing more important than family and friends. It's the people in your life. That's If you don't have people in your life that you care about, then you really don't have anything. Yeah, I liked it. It's a hidden gem, I think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put out new videos four days a week. I'll see you in the next video.